Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Eating peanuts. <laughs> All right. The word of God came upon Mac when he was eating peanuts. <laughs> but check this out. The topic of my message, the topic of my message, I was waving at my people that I'd be able to reach out. The topic of my message is, see, here's this thing that, you know, the world, you know, coined this phrase long time ago. It's called fall in love. And, I, and you know, that always bothered me, you know, it always bothered me. Even when I was young, when I hear people say fall in love, it's just, what, it was a fall in love, what, what's wrong with them? I mean, what will, why does, I always thought, why does the word fall has to associate with the word love? I, and I never put them together, you know? I, but I like, ah, 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 ha, ah, ha, 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 ah. well, but that, that's what, you know, God said, you know, God started talking to me, you know, boys, you know, God always talked to me, I didn't, I didn't know God was talking to me when I was young, you know, I always hear a voice in my head, and I didn't know it was God in my head, and I went to church, you know, <laughs> but, you know, I had to grow up and found out, said, hey, I, I, God said certain things to me. I said, wait a minute. I heard somebody said that before. And God's like, oh, yeah, me when you were little. You know, remember you were little? You was like, oh, that was you. <laughs> True story. But anyway, um, but I, I, I never got the idea of falling in love. And I found out the reason why I didn't get it, you know. Because I'm because the topic of this message is talking about that love rises, but lust falls. <laughs> love rises, but lust falls. Now the thing is, you know, because the world called this thing called falling in love with I felt madly in love with this person mm. and, and, and it's an instant situation that they saw that person and fell in love with the person and don't know the person's characteristics or their personality or whatsoever the kind of person that they are but yet because they look at the outward appearance they see love they see love hmm Something bothered me about that. Mm, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound correct. But, you know, I, now God showed me how it's incorrect because the thing is, love rises. Now, of course, uh, you know, the world is the number one influential uh, tool of everybody these days. People got this scenario that, you know, they're telling everybody that they're, they're falling in love with them. It's, and everybody's like, oh, you're falling in love with me. And they're getting, you know, gooey and, you know, feeling that, you know, that, you know, something good is happening and stuff like that. And they think that this is, you know, something that is about love. <laughs> yeah. It's, and in and, and, and a, a state of falling, you fall you know I, I, I find out when you sometimes people fall they hurt themselves <laughs> yeah they they hurt themselves when they fall down you know they fall I never heard a sequence you know me watching Wiley Coyote chase the road runner and see him constantly falling you know uh, <whistles> oof, you know <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to see this idea of what something good is supposed to come out of something falling. I'm trying to find that, you know, this out. But I found out that, oh, men are in error. Oh, 
Yes, that's that's the answer. Men are in error. They got the word wrong way. They they're supposed to say, you know, I'm rising in love because when I started loving people, you know, and when I when I discover what true love is all about, you know, and through Jesus Christ and seeing that, you know, that Jesus uh, uh, so loved the world that he, you know, I mean, well, God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus that, you know, whosoever, you know, believe in him shall not pray. He loved the world that he gave. But God, Jesus gave us something. Jesus loves us. And he gave us a love that will help us to rise above our situations and rise above our circumstances and rise above the kind of person that we are to become a better person. You know, he gave us a love that, you know, can do that. And, you know, the thing is, we, you know, need to understand that, you know, as Christians, if we know what love is, that love, and, you know, you, of course, read in 1 Corinthians 13, you know, didn't say love falls. And, you know, you know, but, you know, the thing is, you know, I can, you know, say, you know, when you're in sin and you're, you're doing a lot, sometimes you, you, you know, you, you fall in the hands of, you know, God and, you know, and he helps you. But he's God. But what God is going to do, he's not going to help you to fall. He's going to help you to rise, you know, above your situations and above your circumstances is that people need to understand that um, that should associate with love and people got, you know, because I'm looking at this love at first sight and not seeing the side of love. I see the side of lust. I see, I see a side of that you love to see the physical attraction of the person, you know, and how good she looks or ladies he look. Um, I can understand that, but I don't, you know, I don't see no love in there until something has to be sacrificed. Yes, until somebody start, um, well, when somebody start investigating on the kind of person you are concerning your characteristics and your personality. The, and your personality really is about the things that you like and the things that you do not like. And your characteristics is about the, the, the things that you do concerning that is nice or not nice, you know, naughty or whatever opposite of that but you know it's to find out the scope of the person of what kind of person a person is you start realizing that who that kind of person is and you will make a decision on whether you want to spend time more with this person or less time with more time or less time because everybody isn't everybody you know but the thing is you know we have to learn how that love is supposed to help us rise above the occasion, help us rise and get become a better person and not a worse person. So if a person is saying that they love you and you are feeling more less than you are, then that means they're not really loving you, you know? They're not giving you the love that you need. Thank you. They're not giving you the love that you desire. I know I have. I mean, that's going to help you become a better person. And the problem is, a lot of people are like, you know, when a man or a woman says, "I love you," you know, and you know, when somebody says that, you know, uh, you go, oh. "No, we're not supposed to." We're supposed to measure the actions of the characteristics of the personality of the person concerning their, they, how they are and how consistent they are in displaying, you know, themselves in your life of understanding the kind of person they're in. See, you know, uh, concern about the, the, your daily affairs concerning going to school and going to work and, 
you know, in, 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 in your condition that you're tired or that you're, you know, energetic or you want to do certain things or you don't want to do certain things, you know, kind of, kind of all that's logistics, you know, because I think that things should be about logistics and not so much about a word, I love you. No, I think we're supposed to be looking at the logistics of love because I can... Now that will explain the measure of broken hearts that's been happening in the world these days. They have people just going about this, you know, I love you, and you know, the lips look so wonderful, and she looks wonderful, and he looks wonderful at the moment, and you know, you feeling googie, feeling, feeling, you know, feeling that flesh, you know. <laughs> That, you know, it's a deception, you know, that, you know, fooled by a feeling and stuff like that and all kind of stuff. But that's, falling in love is not what it's all about. But uh, the thing is, you need to learn how to, uh, Robbie, I think it's our dumpsters. But you need to um, learn about what love is all about and not stop falling in love and start understanding that love is supposed to help you rise above the situations and circumstances in life, Amen. that you will see things correctly and see the right people that love you and don't love you. One, two, two, Robbie. Oh, he's out. And the thing is, that's how it works, and I hope you get the message, and I hope you start understanding that love will rise and lust will help you fall. And you know what? Lust will help you fall for that mistake and the fool by a feeling and a thrill is gone. Happened to too many people. All right. To God be the glory to him forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Amen.